Everywhere, but now it's official we are in a recession. The, recent the months ahead could be tough. Experts are predicting what they call a procession of recessions. Now all these economies could dip into recession. The most confusing moment in U.S. economic history. There is such a huge crisis going on in U.S. And when I say U.S., that's common for all the countries, be that UK, Canada, any other country that you talk about. If you don't have jobs in U.S., you don't have jobs anywhere in the world. And officially declared in recession. Studying abroad in recession is very different from studying abroad when everything is hunky-dory because things are very different. Getting a job after completion of your degree is very different, difficult. Getting a part-time job while you're studying is very difficult. Doing two, three jobs while you're studying is difficult. So studying abroad while there is a recession is different. But what is the statistical importance? How can we find inferences? We can compare it with 2007 and 2008. So let's do one thing. Let's talk about the statistical importance of studying abroad during a recession. Is it a wise decision or not? And who should be doing, who should be going to study abroad basically? Let's start with it. First major thing that we saw during recession of 2007 and 2008, colleges raised their tuition fees. And I'm not kidding, they did that. So the share of revenue that rose was between 35% in 2008, 40% in 2010, and a whopping 45% in 2011. And it continued to 47% in 2013. What else happened in these colleges? Colleges removed some of the courses that were not job oriented. So that's actually a good thing because if you're planning to study abroad and you're planning to go for a course that is not job oriented, I would highly recommend you to not go during a recession because once you come out, you don't have a job, your spending is still in dollars or spending is still in euros, you will be facing a lot of difficulties. So it would not be a wise decision to go abroad if you're planning to go for a non-job oriented course. But yeah, if you're planning to go for a job oriented course, that still makes sense. Second thing is studies will become expensive. and. Most of you guys will be like, Murad, you just talked about studies will become expensive, tuition fees has risen. Even if the tuition fees does not rise, and even if there is a cut in tuition fees, which is highly unlikely, but even if your tuition gets discounted, if you get a scholarship of a thousand or two thousand dollars, it will still be expensive. What do I mean by that? See, many of you students would have your parents supporting you, right? And there will be job cuts or salary cuts for your parents. So that way your tuition becomes expensive. Getting a part-time job, it's 30 percent more difficult in a recession so there's a 30 percent less likely chance that you will be paying off your own expenses let alone your tuition fees so 30 percent and because of that your entire tuition fees gets more expensive by that what i mean is you would be paying more than what you will be receiving and as a result it would be a major burden on you guys third thing which is very common that we saw in 2008-2009 recession was people thought that okay now i don't have a job now it's difficult for me to get a job let me do one more degree and if that is going on in your mind that is going on in the rest of the people's mind as well why because in 2008 2.5 million people joined us institutions in 2009 that number came up to 3.5 million and in 2011, that number went up to 4 million. Why did this happen? 4 million people were studying in US institutions because people thought that let me join a master's degree. But then once they realized, okay, I've joined a master's degree, but this recession is not going away. What they did was they took up one more course in their master's degree. They have their option to add more courses. So as a result, people kept on deferring their date of completion of their degree so that they thought the recession would go away and then I'll get a job. But then once they kept on increasing it, their debt also kept on piling up. Right now, an average graduate in US has a $60,000 debt, an undergraduate and a master student, a postgraduate student has a $75,000 debt. That is why there is such a huge crisis going on in US. And when I say US, that's common for all the countries, be that UK, Canada, any other country that you talk about. If you don't have jobs in US, you don't have jobs anywhere in the world. So what's the inference from this? We've already talked about education loans. Don't take a huge loan. Don't take a loan that is collateral on your house. Don't take, don't be such a fool. Please don't be such a fool to take a loan against your house during a recession. Even if you're going for one of the best degrees, right now would not be the best time. You can take a loan that is a loan on your degree. I, I know we've talked about that. We did a webinar on that. Hopefully you've subscribed to my channel. If you've not subscribed to my channel and 
it's the first time that you're this hearing this that you can take a loan against your degree oh god you're just following very dumb content on youtube i mean just the subscribe button is there you're just wasting your time okay so let me continue so yeah you can take a loan against your degree but don't take a loan against your house during a recession even if you're going for one of the best degrees don't take it finally let's talk about the people who were left behind after the recession so according to a us report in 2009 as we talked about there were many people who were joining 3.5 million people who were joining right 22% did not find a job at all that included many indians also and th- that's us same happened with uk what happened with those people they ended up coming back because obviously you cannot be a barista all the time right that would not be covering your entire living expenses so yeah those people ended up coming back in india they were doing low paying jobs it took them 5 to 6 years to reach to a point where they could have actually recouped all their money so if you're planning to study abroad keep this in mind that you'll have to at least work for a couple of years to recover your money and if you don't find that opportunity to recover the money it would not be that hunky dory so i don't want to present a very beautiful picture in front of you because actual situation is going to be grim after recession if recession comes i don't feel like right now we're in a recession because right now things are still very hunky dory i do understand that Amazon is firing like ten thousand people, and then again saying another ten thousand. Facebook is firing eleven thousand. Everyone is firing. Twitter is firing. But still, it's way better than two thousand eight crisis, where everyone was firing. Right now, you just have tech companies firing and a, a few other finance companies firing. But at that time, everyone was firing everyone. So it's still not that bad. But then keep these things in your mind because it's very important. Twenty two percent people did not find a job. and as a result what happened was they had to wait for 5 years but what does that mean does that mean that you will be at a very bad position no it's just that you were you graduated at a wrong time it would take you 5 more years to reach to a point where you would be happy where you would be like yes this is something that i would want this is something that i deserve from my degree so yeah that's one more tip that i would want to give you guys but is it all that bad to go for your education while in a recession actually not because there are some good things also that comes with recession the best things can happen during recession and once you come out of recession you can actually change your life completely genuinely change your life completely and i am planning to make one more video on that the pros of recession the pros of studying abroad in recession only if this video gets 1000 likes because some of my previous videos are not doing that well probably my content has but yeah i hope you guys like this video i'm also feeling a bit demotivated now <laughs> just kidding i hope you guys like this video and this is one more video i would recommend you guys nice video